Why does it say nothing is recording? I've kind of done a makeshift scenario here. Let's try it, shall we? I swear I'm not gonna subject you to that. I really would love to do an English accent though. Hello everybody, my name is Lauren Howe. Today I will be auditioning for a role on the Game of, K of Thrones spin-off. I hope. I have had a few people ask me about confidence, especially considering that the Miss Universe slogan, and uh, for those of you who don't know, I competed at Miss Universe last year. No, technically 2017 now. I'm old. Their slogan is being confidently beautiful. That I am confidently beautiful with a heart. Thank you. I truly, truly think that confidence is nothing to do with physical beauty, outer appearance, or anything like that. Physical beauty is totally in the eye of the beholder. Every single person on this planet has their own personal definition of what the most beautiful person is. Building confidence, it's not easy. It sucks. That's why people go through awkward phases. Well, at least I still think they do because it seems like everybody on the internet now, they, they skip puberty. What happened to the middle phase? The braces, the acne, the weirdness. I'm trying to figure it out myself. Number one, realize that perfection does not exist. Everyone has their own opinion about what beautiful is. Accepting that is the first step to building your confidence. Stop aiming for perfection. It's not a thing and you'll never be perfect because no one is ever perfect. Even Beyonce, oh, she's pretty perfect. But I'm sure she doesn't feel that way because she's always a hustler that goes after things. What you can be is not perfect, but be perfectly you. Two, stop caring what people think. If you care more about what other people think, you're gonna care less about what you think of yourself. Aim to spread positive energy and be a good person. Good people attract good people. I think people say that because it's recognizing that this world isn't about aiming to be the best version of yourself, but aiming to make the world around you the best version it could be by you being a part of it. That's deep. You are the average of the five people you surround yourself by. So look around you, think about those five people. Are they people you look up to? Are they people that make you stronger, better, faster, harder, better, faster, stronger? And if they're not doing that, reevaluate who's in your close circle. Your imperfections are your strengths. Do you hear me? The people who stand out in this world, who differentiate from a crowd, are the ones who embraced their imperfections. You know, look back to middle school, high school, and you have all these people who are trying to be like the cool kids. You're trying to act like everybody else because being different is not cool. <laughs> it blows my mind that people spend years trying to be like everybody else only to hit a point and realize, what do I have to do differently to stand out from the crowd? So if you already stand out from the crowd, embrace that, want that later on. Things that you might think are an imperfection are perfectly you. If you found that unique thing that you love, that you're talented at, run with it. But on the flip side, find and seek out the things that make you uncomfortable, the things that you know you may not necessarily be good at, but that you can work towards improving it. Two examples of that. On one hand, let's say you're trying to work towards something you're kind of good at and you want to get better. For me, that was sports. My coaches always taught me if you want to get better, you go and you do warm-ups and you do drills and you do it with the captain. You do it with the best players on the team. No, I suck. I like playing with people who are not as good as me because it makes me feel better. That's not gonna help you improve. But in the long run, it made me a better player, which in turn boosted my confidence when it came to game time. Example number two, enter things that you might not have any knowledge about the first time I got a job in media. I was studying engineering. An opportunity came up to audition for the Arena host for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I say it like that, but really it's really cool. I had no clue what to do. I mean, I love the Leafs, but am I qualified to audition against kids who are studying broadcasting and I'm gonna walk in like an engineer? Yeah, I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing. No, you're going for a job, you're going for an interview. The person who's, who's interviewing you, they're not looking for you to fail, they want you to succeed. Fake it till you make it. That sometimes can have a negative connotation of you shouldn't fake anything. I'm not telling you to be a fake human being. It's natural to have nerves, to have fear because you don't feel as qualified to get that job. Your crush will like you back if you make the big move. 
confidence, you put on a smile, you take that little voice that's in the back of your head, you can't do this, you're not qualified for this, why are you here? Give it a little night quill and tell it to sleep now. Do that. No one knows how much you don't know. <laughs> so know what you know and wing it and have fun with it. And if it goes south, laugh it off. When you're nervous for something, take a moment to think about what is the worst case scenario if you did that. 99.9% .9 of the time, you will realize that that scenario can either one, be rectified, or two, it's not as bad as you think it is. No, I love failure because it has been such a key part of growing. Pivot a situation that you think is bad and be like, actually, this is better for these reasons. Comparison is the death of happiness. Everyone goes at their own pace. Everyone has their own story. Please, I beg you, stop comparing yourself to anybody around you. Just focus on you. If you want to boost confidence and you feel you're in a phase where you're not feeling your most confident, you're not feeling like your best self, my number one piece of advice is to take a break from social media. If you feel that you are on social media and when you open it, you feel less than, you feel like you're comparing yourself to others, and you're seeking other people's approval by checking your likes, checking your comments, you should take a break from social media because that combination of things is toxic to your self-confidence. You take yourself offline, focus on yourself and your goals and what you wanna do, that will help you tremendously in the long run. Those are just some of my pieces of advice on how to build confidence when you may not be feeling it. Really hope these help some of you out there. Moving forward, I'm actually gonna be trying to do videos every Tuesday, every Friday, a mix of the how-to videos with some special experts and also um, any of these self-talk insights ones I get a few messages about now. Stay tuned. Like, subscribe, show some love, hit the bell. I'm weird saying that stuff. I need lip balm.